Hi everyone! Welcome back! Feeling a bit funny today. Hmm. I don't know why. I can't work it out. Maybe it's because it's daylight savings. That always makes me feel a bit strange until I get used to it. You know, when, when uh, I was a little girl, uh, my my sister and I had an embarrassing thing happen. Um, it was daylight savings, but we had forgotten our whole family. And we were going to church. And we arrived at church and mm, the car park was a bit full. But we found a spot and then we walked in and um, got a Bible from the welcomers. And then we looked in church nearly all the seats were full except for right up the front so we walked right up the front and sat down and it was just in time for a song so we sang the song and then we sat down and the minister says well that's the end of the service you can go home now Oh no, we forgot it was daylight savings. Mm. You don't really have to worry about that with a video because you can watch it whenever you like, can't you? Um, since we're not meeting together. But thats I don't think that's what's wrong. Can you see something wrong? I just feel funny. Maybe if I stand up. Do you, can you see what's wrong? Oh no! Oh no! I have my clothes! I've got my clothes! I've got my clothes inside out! Oh no! Well... This will have to be a really quick change. So um, I'm just going to change the right way around because this is so embarrassing. Oh, I am really sorry. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, ah, ah. now that's better, isn't it? Right way round. A lot brighter, isn't it? Oh, and it feels so much better. And it's not as embarrassing. Have you ever had something um, that you've been wearing that was inside out? Maybe it wasn't your whole clothes like me. Maybe, maybe it was just, uh, just your jacket. Sometimes Terry wears his t-shirt inside out. And I have to remind him, oh, I can see the tag. I think you've got that inside out. So sometimes we can just uh, wear something inside out. You know, I must have been thinking about our new series that we're running. For the next eight weeks, we're not just going to have videos. We're going to have a Zoom session in, on Sunday afternoons. So on Sunday afternoons, we're going to be watching a video together. It'll be so good to see your faces, not just this round lens that I see. Um, and I must have been so excited about, uh, about this eight-week course that, that we're going to do because it's all about inside out faith. That's what it's called, inside out faith. And it comes from the book of James in the Bible. That's where what we're going to study. Like, so the adults are going to be doing Job and we're going to be studying James at the same time. Hmm, things on the inside are hidden, aren't they? They're hidden from, uh, from everyone that can see. But some people hide their faith. They hide 
that they believe in Jesus. And when they hide that they believe in Jesus, they're not sharing their faith. So as we look in the book of James, we're going to hear and we're going to learn about how we need to be sharing our faith and making it grow so other people can join in God's kingdom and not feel embarrassed at all. Now, today, I'm going to share a, a verse in the Bible that's a little bit embarrassing. So what I need you to do right now is run and get a piece of paper and a pencil because I'm going to show you how to draw um, our, our thing that we're learning about today in our, in our verse. Off you go! Are you back? If you're not, you better pause the video so that, that you don't miss out. All right. So I've got my piece of paper and I've got my texter. And the verse that we're looking at today has these in it. I wonder if you know what they are. Can you do a U on your page like that? Okay, once you've done that, I want you to make a cloud on top of the U. Have you got that? Now, I want you to make a bigger cloud underneath, like that. Got that? Do you know what it is? We need a little, a little cloud just there. Do you know what it is? I think you're pretty clever. I think you've worked it out. Um, now we're going to do one, two, Three, four, do you know what it is? Okay, doing the ears. And I'm going to colour the ears. So, Now we're up to the nose, so we're going to make a T like that. Yeah. And now the eyes. And I think this one is going to be looking this way. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a sheep. And our verse in the Bible is from Isaiah 53, 6. Do you know what it is? We all like sheep have turned away. Baba to Baba. Each one of us has turned his own way. But the Lord has laid on him, who's the him? Jesus. He's like a good shepherd. But instead of a shepherd's hook, I'm going to do a cross. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity. What's that? 
It's the the sin, all the things that we do, all the things that we say, all the things that we think that make God sad or mad. So the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. See, ba ba do ba ba. Isaiah fifty three six. Very good. So let's try it again. Now that we've got all our bits. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Ba ba do ba ba. Each one of us has turned his own way. Ba ba do ba ba. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Sing ba ba do ba ba. Isaiah fifty three six. Now in that verse, we as sheep. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? We're like sheep, stupid sheep that go our own way. But God loves us. He's our good shepherd, like uh, David told us in the sermon last week. He's our good shepherd. And he leads us and looks after us. So, But the Lord has laid on him, our good shepherd, all of our sin, all of the things that we've done wrong so that we can be in God's kingdom, in God's flock. So maybe you could tell that and show that um, to somebody today. Maybe you could show them how you can draw a sheep and tell them the verse. And that is sharing your faith. Sharing that you believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we can all be in God's kingdom. Well, I'll see you next week. I really will see you next week on Zoom. See you then. Bye.